Hi, Wana. Hi. <laughs> and where are we today? In Saffron Walden. Saffron. Why is it called Saffron Walden? Because it dealt with saffron. <laughs> <laughs> and the story is that it, it was named after the saffron flower, which provided a dye which they used, which made the town very wealthy. We're going for a wander around Saffron Walden today. Hope you want to join us, and we'll show you some of the earliest period buildings that we can find. As you can see, it's a, a very beautiful day. Not a cloud in the sky. A bit breezy here, so. For you Americans that love English culture, this is a rather attractive little house. I would say probably mid Victor, well early Victorian. It's very attractive, very gothic, isn't it? Not a gothic feel to it. Yes. Yes. What do you think? <laughs> well, you're more travelled on, on the uh, on the European continent than I am. I would say so on the European one. Yeah. Oh look, a blue plaque house. Who lived there? This house here is a blue plaque which is dedicated to Edward Borden, B-A-W-D-E-N, 1903 to 1989. A designer, printmaker, painter and illustrator lived here from 1970 until 1989 when he died obviously. Huh. Never heard of him. Another, another nice attractive property, look. Okay, and we're now coming into the main part of the uh, town, into the high street. What I want to do today is show you Cromwell's siege house, the, his headquarters during the English Civil War. It's a property that um, I know quite well because it was at one point <laughs> It was rented out for paranormal investigations. It's a vast property. The Cross Keys Hotel, what an attractive building, look. Just stand here. What a lovely building, isn't it? Should we wander up that street first, then we can come back here. This is quite a very attractive back street, isn't it? Now, Cross Keys is certainly a, a very historic building. Molly's Coffee and Cake Shop surprisingly closed. Saffron Walden is a, a town of great antiquity and out of the whole of Essex it's probably my favourite town I have to say. It's an old coaching and entrance here look. Yeah, a lot of history. You have to excuse the breeze. It's a very slight breeze today, but it's probably going to blow something terrible on the audio. Cross Street. That just goes back roughly to where we just come from. And what a lovely building here, look. Yeah. 
the architecture here is some of the earlier properties are absolutely wondrous. Now if you look at this building here, it tells you it probably dates to around the 14th, early 15th century because of the spacing of the oak beams. The more widely spaced ones tend to be later built. The earlier builds had more, much more timber incorporated into the design. So this is quite an early timber framed house. A charity shop. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because I'm a complete um, sucker when it comes to charity shops. I tend to go and visit every charity shop that I find. They're very interesting, the English ones. They have some very nice, nice things. Well, while you go in there, I'm just going to wander up the high street. And if, can you see that white building that's jutting at the yes. timber frame? Yes. I'll be outside there. Okay. Have fun. Yeah, thank you. Bye bye. One of us is an addict when it comes to uh, charity shops. There's some very attractive buildings here. We're actually coming into the Market Square. For anyone who remembers years back, the TV series Lovejoy, it was actually filmed in Southern Walden for some of the episodes. And I think the town hall here was used as a as um, an auction house. As you can see, we're in the marketplace. And here is the building. Yeah, I'm fairly confident that was used as the scene for an auction. The most attractive building, you can just see in the background, we get closer, is the library. Just wander through the market. As you can see, it's very, very busy here today in South Morden. Some beautiful architecture here. Some negotiate a path through here. And here we are, the library. What a beautiful building. Unfortunately, the light doesn't help. Get a bit closer, as you can see here. Just seeing if there's any history here that tells you the age of the building. No. Okay, it's the Gibson Library. It's founded in 1832 as the Sapham Walden Literary and Scientific Institution with historic collection and reading room with 40,000 books from the 14th to 21st century. Hmm. I don't think they'll allow me to wander around there today. I was getting a very menacing look there from the lady, the librarian. Let's have a look at some of the other buildings. It's a very interesting building with a balcony. I mean, that could date back to around about the whole building actually looking up to around about 1820. Very, very interesting architecture. There's a drinking fountain here, which is the uh, the market memorial marker. And here's one. 
we found out the age of the library. I got scowled at, but I managed to read a, a sign which told me the age of it. And that's the town hall building I was mentioning, which was used as a backdrop as an auction house for a Lovejoy episode. Just wander down here. Okay, we're going to move out of the marketplace now. So, um, you didn't buy any bargains then? It, it is so big and it has so much uh, produce that yeah. it's impossible to just spend 10 oh. minutes. You need, you need a good hour to five. Okay, uh, let's make it 10. I'd say, yeah, you'll be a couple of days. <laughs> right, now we're going to go down here. Okay, we're going up Gold Street in Saffron Walden. Not quite the earliest properties I want to view, but there are some very interesting houses. The Old English Gentleman Pub. Stand back here. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The Old English Gentleman Pub. In Gold Street in Central Morden. Looks nice. We'll pop in there on the way back. Yeah, we yes, yeah. There are some very attractive houses here. Look at this property. Well, in fact, we've got two here. We've got this one here. This, if I can step back. Okay, this is jetted, so this is pre fire of London so it's pre-1660 it's probably about 1550 and it's got another place with a plaque another blue plaque this time to Gabriel Harvey 1545 to 1630 scholar writer and poet his parental home so that's about right when I said yes. about 1550 <laughs> yeah and over the road, again, we have another jetted property which probably dates to the same period. Just slowly scan down the street here. And you can see the, um, the plaster work on the outside. Dolphin House. Very, very attractive. Oh, what a lovely garden. Yeah, here's someone's made use of minimum space and they've turned it into an oasis. Yeah, that's amazing. That's beautiful, isn't it? It is. If we wander up here, see some interesting houses back here. We, I mean, it's not the kind of place you would ordinarily go looking for, but... And as you see, the further we move up, the newer the period of properties. So here we have a mixture of Victorian and possibly 18th century in the main and then of course just up ahead we can see another jetted property which again predates the Great Fire of 1660 and it's probably around about the same period about 1550 uh, sorry 1530 this is quite a nice house actually Let's go over here. It reminds me of Lebanon for some reason. Yeah, well it's that quality, isn't it? The light's not good, so you'll have to bear with me, folks. But as you can see, it's jetted, which is a bit, a, a bit above the door frame, which is sticking out. And we look down the street again. And you've got some very attractive early Victorian red brick properties here. What are you I doing? I want your cat. <laughs> oh, the cat. <laughs> oh my God, why paint the house blue? The light, as I say, this time of day is very strong. So, some of what you're going to see is probably going to be a strain, but hopefully we can capture the flavour of it all.
ghoul is this ghoul lane or gold lane that looks a bit ghoulish doesn't it ghoul lane or is it a bad spelling of jowl lane ghoul lane how unusual there's one in um, Norfolk which is yeah which is uh, I think it's called dead lane or De devil lane yeah okay on the left it's mostly modernist properties so we're going to scan to the right and what you can see is what is called pargetting where the plaster works patterns worked into it so here you have like a stagecoach horses and people of the 18th century this is a former chapel uh, more modernist architecture then we're coming into it again more period properties and another blue plaque I wonder who that could be for okay we're coming out of Gold Street this is the main drag that goes down to to the main shopping area and it looks a bit dodgy so we're going to be very careful here wait 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 it's not going to stop no he's not going to stop no okay who have we got here George Stacy Gibson another blue plaque 1818 to 1883 banker botanist and philanthropist lived here from 1845 to 1883 and if you look at the property it it looks uh, especially with the with the, the the bowed window frame it certainly looks Regency period probably about 1820 let's go down here in the far distance I'm not sure if you can see it here on the camera is Saffron Walden Church it's beautiful isn't it it's like a cathedral so we're going to have a wander in there before we leave today now we're going down into the main drag I can't tell you the name of the street because there's no street signs it's absolutely beautiful this is so 18th century the window light above the door frame really really attractive Some lovely houses here isn't there I'll just go down sideways now folks so you can have a an enjoyable stroll down the street with us I'm trying to find this street oh this is a Quakers meeting house here wow. <laughs> just show you those of you that are interested the building itself is uh, certainly not 17th century um, and you can see it from the outside it looks like an old school doesn't it Now we're coming down the high, well, into the high street area. What I love about these places, it's such an eclectic mixture of different styles of property. I mean, this is almost, almost religious, isn't it? It's almost gothic. This house here. absolutely exquisite with a basement okay we're back into the main uh, the main shopping area 
Okay, this is where we started our journey. We've done a full circle, that's the Cross Keys Hotel. Now we're going further up the street and hopefully it will take us to where we need to go. This canopied entrance here is uh, very warmly Victorian. Quite a large old property. In fact, I think we need to, and just up here, we have what appears to be an old coaching inn. The Saffron. What a gorgeous building, isn't it? Look at this. There's Wana. Yes, it's a typical old coaching inn. Would have had a door here at one time and gates here, which would have secured the property overnight. It's an old coaching inn. Should be yeah, we're heading in the right place. Yeah. Where we're going now, you will be completely in awe of the beauty of these properties. And look at this house here. I'm crossing over again. Another jetted property. And looking at the stud work, which is the oak that you can see the, the, um, the framework of the building, this probably dates to the late 1500s and the house next door would have been the same but it's been plastered over um, and here we have another nameplate a blue plaque I think these have been issued for the local council because none of these people ring any ring any bells with me of recognition we have a Jack Cardiff who lived between 1914 to 2009 and he was an Oscar winning cinematographer who lived here between 1993 and 2000. Okay, never heard of him. Oh and look at this, this is absolutely beautiful now. Now we're heading into beauty. Look at that church. Isn't that absolutely splendid. What we're going to do, we're going to go to the church first, we'll have a wander around there, then we're going to go into the old quarter into uh, the Cromwell Quarter. Should we go into the church? Go to the entrance? No, I want to go up here and film this. Okay. And look at the stud work here, look. The, for the jetting. Amazing, isn't it? Okay, this is the best approach to the Saffron Walden Church. As you can see, it is absolutely magnificent. And there's a really attractive property next door to it. One, I went the long way around. Look at this, isn't this beautiful? It's all similar to the one in uh, Saxton. Yes, it is. It's like a cathedral, isn't it? Yes. It's got three chapels, maybe four chapels. And look at the timber frame house over the other side. Yeah. We'll see that first, then we're going to the church. Okay, well, uh, we're definitely popping in here. I tend to go silent when it's breezy. Isn't that beautiful? We'll go left here. St. Mary the Virgin. The parish church is pretty big. Look at this house here. It's absolutely magnificent. Many periods in this as well. Wow. 
Okay, on the left you see the earliest part of the property, which probably dates to, again, coming back to 14th century. And then if we move across here, these are probably 16th century additions, 15th century additions to the property, maybe even later. It's difficult to tell because a lot of what we can see here is decorative. So see parish rooms. The Verger's Cottage though, that is really early. This is much later. It could even be Victorian to be perfectly honest. It's difficult to tell from here. Okay. And look how quiet it is. And look at this magnificent structure. This is one of the gatehouses. Sorry, one of the gates, I should say, entrances. Okay, should we go in? in the, in the said. For those of you that watched my video, this five minute special I did at Brabalon Sea in Essex, um, it was founded by St. Said, the church there, Bradwell, and here is St. Said himself. And let's wander around the corner. It's a side door, isn't it? Aha. Uh -huh. Well done. <laughs> it's absolutely magnificent, isn't it? like it had brasses here which were later removed and uh, that's the main chapel that the main chancel and we have these little side chapels here to give you a sense of this place the smell of old oak is completely overwhelming it is such a sweet smell An old oak invokes history doesn't it Look at the the Victorian leads, they're quite nice. Oh, this chapel here has been set aside for private prayer. Absolutely exquisite. And you can see the uh, maybe fifteenth century and caustic tiles. The tiling here is very, very attractive. This is absolutely magnificent. Isn't this beautiful? It really is. You can't understand the size of it until you're actually walking in. Well, it's, no, it's if like I turn a shock. The, well, turn the camera around. Look at the size of this. It, it, it's, it leaves you breathless, really, as you walk in. This is stunning. I was looking, admiring the tile the work styles. again. We've seen the styles so mm. often yeah. in all churches. We have another side chapel there. This is amazingly beautiful.
Let's have a look over here. This is, I think, an office space, actually. There is a, actually a memorial in there. Oh, yes, there is. You can see a memorial tomb, memorial tomb there. But, of course, you can't get in there now because it's used as an office space. What a shame, really. You think that poor man, he was buried there. Well, I presume it's a man, bunny animals. I'm not sure if we're allowed in there. This is beautiful. Absolutely exquisite. I'm probably not allowed in here, but... Panelling work is beautiful. it's very very dark in here oh, best get out of here and this beautiful magnificent organ here the size of those pipes it's amazing isn't it oh, let's get out of here This really is almost cathedral in size, isn't it? I mean, Thaxted is big, but this is much, much bigger. And these aren't confession booths, they're toilets. And, uh, Lovely old chest here. Look at this shrap work, it's probably 16th century, it doesn't look English. And again, more leads that have been ripped from the floor. Religious vandalism and theft. Back up again. And this is really where we started. Anyway, I'm going to switch off just for a couple of minutes and then I'll be going back on again while we venture into the early part of the uh, town of Saffron Walden. I hope you're enjoying this wander around so far. We certainly are. It's absolutely wonderful and it's on such a beautiful day. It's not a cloud in the sky. Wonderful. Speak to you again in a minute. Okay, we're back online again. We're now leaving the church and it's, you certainly enjoyed it, haven't you? Very much. Oh, she's the queen of gift shops, this, <laughs> this lady, I can tell you. Right, come on, let's go. Let's go this way. Okay, we've now left the church. We're now going to try and find our way to, to the old quarter. Yeah, we're going to walk around the back of the church. So people can see what it looks like. Isn't it a beautiful building?
tragedy everywhere you go nowadays with churches. Sadly, they're all vulnerable to attack. If it isn't the church silver, it's the lead that holds the roof together, or the lead in the leaded glass. Ahead of us is Castle Hill, which is actually a house. There's no castle here anymore. Um, but we need to find those timber frame houses first, and we can come back to this later. If we get time. Because you want to do some shopping, don't you? Put on the shops a bit. Yes. <laughs> Mingle with the locals? Yes, just to find out. <laughs> Here's your girly things. Yeah. It's not like you're going to go mad in there, is it? No. I never do. No. Warner of Cambridge. Oh God. <laughs> she bought this lovely dress in Cambridge. No, this is not one. Oh, isn't it? No. You see the typical man? Oh, I am sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've just shot myself in the foot, haven't I? Hey? <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> Someone's sitting on the couch. <laughs> He's no longer. He's no longer with us. <laughs> yes, he'd, he passed away as he left the churchyard. <laughs> You're terrible, you are. <laughs> you, that, you know, it's that devilish laugh. Mm -mm. Right, let's walk down here. <laughs> we picked a ramble. We'll get through this one with these people. Right, here we go. We have a thing about accents. Oh, look at this, Bridge End Gardens, the Fry Art Gallery. Do you want to go and have a look? We would never have known about this. I presume it's open to the public, otherwise it would have been shut and there would have been a sign saying private, no entry, keep away, blah, blah, blah. The Fry Gallery and Bridge End Garden. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this, folks. The art gallery shut off. This lovely house and this walk through. This is hidden, Saffron Warden. It is actually, yes. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> and that takes us out into, well, I can see it looks like formal gardens at the bottom. Look. It still feels very old, doesn't it? In, yeah? And we've got these beautiful formal gardens which we're coming into, so we'll have a wander around them. And then we must get to Medicine Place. Yes. The church was fantastic, wasn't it? Mm, that was the biggest one you've been the into. Size of it, yes. Yeah, it's huge. I should imagine their money came from the wall trade again. Okay, we're in Bridgen Gardens. No dogs. No dogs allowed. Wow, look at this. Oh, look at that. And here to the right, there's the gate. Okay, let me just do, just for a second, keep quiet and do a scan round and people enjoy what we can see. And then we can just wander up here, then come back again. Isn't this beautiful? It's like heaven. There's an absolute mass of flowers here. Whoever maintains this, it's a kind of wild garden, isn't it? It doesn't look like it's overly controlled, does it? No, it doesn't. But, but at the same token, it, it is absolutely beautiful. Look at these flowers, look. Now this is beautiful. Now on the main road. 
Yeah, and we can go to Middleton Place and we could probably get the other, the other side of the garden on the way back. I hope. <laughs> I can't guarantee that. And here we are. And Middleton Place is up there. Okay, honey. Isn't that beautiful? What do you think of those gardens? Yeah, it's got a kind of rough end feel to it, but it's nice, isn't it? And there's a small stream here. Wow. Oh yeah, a policeman was murdered here many, many years ago. I'll read it for those who can't see it. Near this spot, William Campling, High Constable Saffron Walden, was shot to death in November 1849. And this was erected by his comrades. And it says Essex Police. So when we were talking about a High Constable, we're not talking about modern policing, Sir William, uh, sorry, Sir William Peel policing, we're talking about um, prior to that period when constables were appointed by the parish so we're looking at a parish constable really and here he was murdered and look at those chimneys <laughs> love a lovely old place let's cross over Yeah, we're in the old part now. We actually stopped here. Do you remember when we came back from Cambridge? When we were filming the Cambridge documentary, we came back via Saffron Walden, which is a lot better than travelling down the, uh, the M11. Now we're in Old World Town here. This is the earliest part of the town. It's not Middleton Place, but we'll come to it. And look, all these houses are all jetted on this side of the road. It's difficult to date them because they're plastered over, but there's a lot of pargetting work. What do you think? I think it's very nice. It's beautiful, isn't it? And then we'll wander down here. Excuse me, is Middleton Place around here? Oh, yes, can I get to it from here? Um, yeah, so this is, uh, um, actually, yeah, it's just further in that direction. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Okay, we're now heading to, hopefully, Middleton Place, which is Cromwell's Siege House. A lady said I can find it in that direction. My fingers are crossed that we will. We've come back onto the outskirts and not too far actually away from the car park where we started. So when you get to this side of Saffron Walden, the quiet side of Saffron Walden, it's so peaceful, so tranquil. I think ahead of me is a pond. That's a bit of a muddy pond. There's a few ducks on there. here briefly and give you a view so delightfully quiet and peaceful here I just see a cat sneaking to the undergrowth wandering around back into the town hopefully to the uh, Middleton place
and we're heading towards Middleton Place hopefully which is where the siege house was or is rather which was uh, Cromwell's headquarters during the English Civil War No, it's through here. This is a lovely part of the, uh, of the town itself. It's really, really attractive. Some lovely properties here. Warden Place. It's mostly Georgian. It's probably a nursing home. Yeah, residents and visitors only. And you've got this lovely house here, Middleton House, which you can see here. And just to the side of it is Cromwell's headquarters during the English Civil War. This is the siege house. What a magnificent building. It's huge, isn't it? This is Cromwell's headquarters. He was here for some time. It's amazing the history that's attached to this site. This building used to belong to the YMCA and they used to rent it out for paranormal investigations and that's the first time I came here. And boy, we did pick up a lot of activity. And I think if you dig through my old YouTube videos, you can actually find it. But anyway, this is Middleton Place. Cromwell's Siege Headquarters and that's how you spell Middleton okay we're more or less finished here for today we've had a good wander do you want to go back and visit the rest of that park no. okay we there, we went to this beautiful park earlier as you recall it was quite heavily actually what we're planning to do is to go back there and look at the rest of the formal gardens that uh, are actually there. But the trouble is the traffic here is just unbelievable. And look at this beautiful house here, look, on the corner. Has to be said, Saffron Walden is a beautiful town. And a lovely water feature there. Let's go through here. It's quite attractive, isn't it? It's going around very slowly. A little boy fighting a meal. Big fish. As you can see, these are like a little maze. Oh, look, go through here, look. I guess someone spent a lot of time here. This is the Dutch Garden, I believe it's called. You can see there. It was created in 1840 and restored in 2003. So let's have a look. And there's a watch area as well that you can go on top. Here. Is there? Yeah, you go on those stairs up here. Oh, we've got a watch area. Let's go and have a look at the Dutch garden from the watch area. Clearly the light is a little bit too strong at this time of the day but hopefully you can get a, f a view of uh, what we're actually seeing. I'll turn the camera around. These gardens are really beautiful actually. On such a glorious sunny day with absolutely no cloud whatsoever in the sky. It is amazingly good. 
Let's go back down, look at these stairs. Enjoy the view. <laughs> Should we go ahead?